dear students and welcome in new English lesson. How are you today? I hope you are fine. Let's listen to our school vision. The school vision to prepare creative, well-educated students who are able to establish civilized, aware, reserved society, stick to the authentic morals and values, in addition to using the modern technology. Hello, my dear students. Welcome in new English lesson. Our lesson today is top time. You will find this lesson in your student book, page 41. Let's start. Let's start our lesson for today with the new vocabulary. Listen and repeat. Talk time two. One, vocabulary, seat belt, road trip, confusing. One more time. Seat belt, road trip. Now, let's move to our workbook. Now, let's move to our workbook, activity 1, page 33. Read and complete, then match. First, we have to read the words in the blue box. Road trip, confusing, seat belt. You should always put you on when you get into the car my family and i are going to go on a across europe this summer this math problem is can you help me solve it? Three. Now, let's answer. Number one, you should always put your... Of course, you should put your seat belt on. Very good. Number two, my family and I are going to go on... Road trip. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Number three, this math problem is excellent, confusing, it's confusing. Can you help me solve it, please? Excellent. Now, let's match. Picture number one. Yes, it's matching with sentence number two. B. Sentence number one and C is matching with sentence number three. Now let's go again to our student book. Activity two. I want you to look at the pictures and tell me what can you see? Of course, the the city of Doha, Qatar, excellent. And Stonehenge in the United Kingdom. Very good. My dear students, can you think what our text will be about? They are about driving in Qatar and in the United Kingdom. Very good. Now we are going to read in order to find out if people in Qatar drive on the left-hand side of the road, let's read. Two. Do people in Qatar drive on the left-hand side of the road? Read and answer. Driving around Qatar. When driving in Qatar, especially in large cities like Doha, there are some rules drivers should always remember. In Qatar, 
people drive on the right-hand side of the road, and they must be at least 18 years old to drive. Drivers shouldn't use a mobile phone while driving, so they never talk on their mobile phones. They always wear their seatbelts too. There is usually a lot of traffic on the street in the city, but there are also many things to see. One of the most interesting places to visit is the Qatar National Museum. The museum tells the story of Qatar, its history, and its people. The United Kingdom, UK. When driving in the UK, you must be at least 17 years old. You must always wear your seatbelt, and you have to pay attention to the road signs too. Why? Well, the British drive on the left-hand side of the road, and this can be very confusing for people from other countries. They have to be very careful. In London, when drivers want to use their cars from Monday to Friday in the city centre, they have to pay a fee. Drivers get into trouble for driving too fast, but they can also get into trouble for driving very slowly. Stonehenge is a very famous site in the English countryside that you can visit by car. It is a circle of very big rocks, and archaeologists are not sure why people built it. Some people believe it was one of the first clocks in the world. Lijo, now let me ask you some questions about this text. How old do you have to be to drive in Qatar? At least 18 years old. What is one thing drivers shouldn't do when driving in Qatar? They shouldn't use a mobile phone. Excellent. Is there a lot of traffic on city streets? Yes, there is. What can visitors to Qatar National Museum do? They can learn about the history of Qatar and its people. Now, I want you to look at the United Kingdom, UK. What must you do when driving around the UK? Very good. You must always wear your seatbelt and pay attention to the road signs. Why? Because the British drive on the left-hand side of the road. What is a famous site in the UK that you can visit by car? Stonehenge, very good. What is a Stonehenge? It is a circle of very big rocks, but archaeologists are not sure why people build it. What do some people believe about Stonehenge? They believe it was one of the first clocks in the world. Now, my dear students, let's answer the question. If people in Qatar drive on the left-hand side of the road, no, they don't. They drive on the right-hand side of the road. Very good. Now let's move to activity number three. Read again and put a tick in the column. For Qatar, the UK, or in both. Number one, drivers drive on the left-hand side of the road. Of course, in the UK, very good. So you should take the UK. Number two, drivers should wear seatbelt. 
Cutter, excellent. Yes, the, they always wear their seat belt too. Number three, you shouldn't drive too fast or too slowly. Of course, <clears throat> in the UK. Number four, there's a lot of traffic. And Qatar, excellent. Number five. Number five, drivers never talk on their mobile phone. Of course, in Qatar, yes. You can find the answer here. Drivers shouldn't use a mobile phone while driving. So, they never talk on their mobile phones. This is the end of our lesson today. Thank you for listening.